everyone and welcome to Medical Terminology. This video will be a brief tour of the course so you can find your way easily around Blackboard. So when you first enter the course you're going to land on the announcements page and this page will give you some standard information along with some course related information that I will post or your instructor will post throughout the, the course. So when you first start the course you should go over here on the left side of the menu these purple lines these are all course menu items. So the first thing you want to do is click on the Getting Started tab. This is where you will find um, this video along with other helpful videos to get you through the course, especially in the first week or two when you know online classes may be new to you, this may be your first online class, or maybe you haven't used a uh, publisher uh, learning platform like McGraw-Hills Connect that we use in this site. So in the Getting Started section, please take the time to look it over and review the videos that are here. So the first one is a Blackboard tutorial video which is right here. That will take you through the basic steps of Blackboard if you've never had an online course before. It also reminds you to read the syllabus, read the frequently asked questions, and print out and keep the course schedule. Those are all important things to being successful in this medical terminology course. The second item on the Getting Started page is how to register your McGraw-Hill access code. The access code gives you access to the online textbook along with the online learning activities, quizzes, and exams. So there is no physical textbook required to buy for this course. However, you can get a printed um, textbook if you would like for an additional cost. Um, the access code is your textbook for this course. So this area right here gives you some information on how to register your access code. There's also a video from McGraw-Hill that will help you get through the access code. Below that is the publisher information required for the course. So this is the ISBN for your textbook and the ISBN for the textbook plus the printed upgrade that I mentioned earlier. There's also information here about the bookstores for the Pemberton campus and the Mount Laurel campus. Um, a third option that you have is buying the access code online directly from the publisher. So when you enter the course, you don't even have to go to the bookstore. You can buy it online directly from the publisher. So that's the getting started section. Take some time to look through that. The next section over here on the left side is the syllabus. So you all know that the syllabus is important in any class. That's true in this class as well. It contains a lot of important information, so take the time to read it. Again, it has the publisher information that you will need for the access course, or the access code, excuse me. It also has important course information and policies, things like um, how your grades are calculated, the grading scale here, um, and what to expect from your assignments, along with late policies with your assignments. So take the time to read this. Along the left side of the menu again is an item called Frequently Asked Questions, and that's exactly what it sounds like. There's lots of students in the same boat as you if they've never taken an online class or they've never taken this class before. Um, there's lots of questions that you may have that your uh, fellow students have as well. So I've tried to anticipate as many of those questions as I can, and I put them together in this Frequently Asked Questions document. So if you have a question early on in the semester, look here first. Your answer may be here first before reaching out to your instructor. Of course, if your answer isn't there, then by all means, please send your instructor or me an email. Back to the left side of the course menu over here is the course schedule. There's two versions of the course schedule. There's a printable version, and then there's the online version. I would highly recommend that you print out the course schedule and keep it handy. It has a list of the topics, the dates, and the assignments that are due each week. Back on the left side of the schedule again is course content. This is where you will be spending most of your time in the course. There's important inf information to remember at the top about accessing the course material and registering your access code again. The weeks for the semester are divided up into modules. So module one corresponds to week one, module two corresponds to week two, and so on. You may see all of the modules at once, like I have here, or you may only see the ones that are available for the current week. That's up to your instructor to decide. 
inside each folder is the list of assignments that is due for that week. So for example, for this week there's PowerPoints to view, there are Learn Smart assignments to do, and then each week also has answers to the textbook exercises in the book. So if you are working on the textbook exercises, they're not assigned, but you can check your answers there. To get out of this folder, simply click back on Course Content and it will take you back out. Again, to access it, just click on the folders. For week three, for example, there's PowerPoints due, there's Learn Smart Assignments due, and there's a practice quiz due. Your exams will also be found in this area. Below course content is instructor information, so your instructor will post information about how to contact them and their contact information. So, for example, this is me. There's my picture. Um, here's my office information, my office phone number, and my BCC email address. My office hours vary, so you can reach me on FaceTime, Google Hangout, or Skype if you would like. Otherwise, you can come see me in my office. If I am not your instructor for the course, then your instructor will post their information here as well. Below the instructor information is my grades. That is simply a list of the grades that you have for the course. Below my grades is the mail section. That is simply uh, a link to the course email. BCC services is a link that gives you a bunch of helpful sites that you may need. There is 24-7 Blackboard support. So if you have a question on off hours or strictly about Blackboard, you can contact the Blackboard support services. There's a link to WebAdvisor and the Office of Distance Education, along with the library, uh, the RCBC website, and the Office of Student Support. So that's some helpful tools for you throughout the, uh, the semester if you need them. The tools link we don't use very much in this course, but if you want to use it to have a quick link to your grades or to um, maybe create tasks or look at announcements, those are things that you can do from the tools link. But in this course, it's not used very often. And then the last item down here on the left hand side is the help. This is for Blackboard support. It's a direct link to the Blackboard student help site. And that's it. So the home page again will default to the announcements page. And then using the menu buttons on the left side, you can navigate your way through the course. As always, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact me. Um, my name is Lisa Watlington. My email address is l-w-a-t-l-i-n-g-t-o-n at bcc.edu. If I'm not your instructor, then you can certainly email me or you can email your instructor directly. Enjoy!